Could you tell me what you meant uh, when you said yesterday that your government might regulate everything? Uh, I certainly never said that. So well, you said it. You actually said it as a threat. Unfortunately, Rebel News always distorts what I say. No, it was quite and, clear. Uh, you said it in a tweet as a threat to companies, digital companies that don't regulate themselves. I, you said the government could you know regulate what I everything. Say to you sure, that you guys are contributing to hate against me because you spread misinformation and disinformation. I will continue to call out your misinformation and disinformation every single day. Okay, what was the misinformation? Please tell me. I'd be interested to hear. The misinformation and disinformation is what you just said right now. That you threatened yesterday to regulate. True. Don't just count on the media, uh, the mainstream media to cover this or to push back. Canadian, individual Canadians need to get involved politically and they need to let their local member of parliament, especially if their local member of parliament is a liberal, they need to let them know that they, what they think and how they disagree with that, uh, with that direction. Kian Bexley for Rebel News here on Parliament Hill for this speech from the throne. Today is the day that Justin Trudeau resets his government agenda. It's also a very strange day in Canadian history because although the Prime Minister uh, and Cabinet typically write the speech from the throne and give it to the Governor General to read, Justin Trudeau doesn't think that's enough airtime for himself. So after the speech from the throne, he's taking up airtime. He's asked all of the mainstream media outlets to give him personally time to speak about God knows what. We really don't know. We don't know what's going to be in the speech from the throne, and we don't know what is going to be in his address to the nation. It's a little bit strange. Uh, Elizabeth May said earlier today she's never seen this. She's never seen any precedent for this. We have no idea what's going on today, so we figured we would go wait outside of West Block, where ministers and opposition members are coming in and out all day, and we'll see who we are able to speak to. In particular, I really hope we're able to speak to Catherine McKenna. Here's the tweet she posted yesterday. She was threatening to regulate everything. She, this was in the context of digital media, digital finance, commerce, and free speech online. She's threatening digital organizations to regulate them if they don't do it themselves. They said, she said, regulate everything. It was a threat. It was crazy. So we're going to speak to a few ministers, hopefully, as they come in, hopefully Catherine McKenna. And Candace Bergen, the deputy leader of the Conservative Party, is supposed to be having a press conference in there right now. We were a little bit late for that, and we're obviously not allowed inside Parliament because there's a monopoly for press, uh, for press uh, journalists here. So maybe as she comes out, we'll try and speak with her. Can you comment on what Minister McKenna said yesterday, that your government might regulate everything if companies don't do it themselves? You know, we're going to have to leave that to Catherine McKenna to, to answer to that. I'm, I'm really not sure. Can you comment on what Catherine McKenna said yesterday, that your government might regulate everything as a threat? Thank you. Hi, guys. How are you? What would regulating everything on the internet look like to your government? Uh, my colleague, uh, Stephen Gilbo, can uh, obviously answer that question. It was uh, Catherine McKenna that said that. Actually. That is Minister Jolie over there. Now, she said, well, that's up to the Minister of Heritage. You should ask him about that. Not aware that, really, I was asking about what Catherine McKenna said. She just thought I was talking about the government agenda. Like, I had some sort of scoop on what the government was planning, which is really concerning, uh, given that we don't know what's coming in the throne speech later today. Hi, Minister. How are you this morning? Could you tell me what you meant uh, when you said yesterday that your government might regulate everything? Uh, I certainly never said that. So well, you said it. You actually said it as a threat. Unfortunately, Rebel News always distorts what I say. No, it, it was quite and, clear. Uh, you said it in a tweet as a threat to companies, digital companies that don't regulate themselves. I, you said the government could you know regulate what I everything. Say to you sure, that you guys are contributing to hate against me because you spread misinformation and disinformation. I will continue to call out your misinformation and disinformation every single day. Okay, what was the misinformation? Please tell me. I'd be interested to hear. The misinformation and disinformation is what you just said right now. That you it threatened yesterday to regulate. You, you said on Twitter. Tired. You know what I don't like? Sure, please, please tell me. Is that you're contributing to all the hate I'm receiving. I did an online, I did a, a, uh, a, an event with women politicians. The amount of hate that women politicians is getting from outlets like you is completely unacceptable. About half of our journalists are women. I, why are you targeting us specifically over that? It's your comments that we're asking you about. Why do you think the massive amount of forest fires that are happening in the United States stop at the Canadian border? They don't. Uh, they actually do. There's been, you know several wildfires uh, in BC and maybe a few in Alberta, but record lows, in fact, in Alberta this year. Uh, record highs in the United States. Now, why could that be? Uh, maybe it's not climate change. Listen, if 
you jackasses are gonna be in scrums with us, fuck off. Don't touch me. Yeah, well, get the fuck away from me. What's your name? Mr. Freakout. If you're gonna be in a scrum with us, get a mask. Sorry, what? If you're gonna be in a scrum with us, get a mask. What's your name? An outlet. Get out of here. I wasn't able to see what your press conference just was. Would you be able to recap sure. it briefly for me? Sure. Uh, there are, I would say, three main areas that we're looking at the government to address in the speech from the throne. Um, firstly, direct health benefits to Canadians in terms of getting rapid testing available so that people aren't waiting in line for, for hours and days to try to get tested. Uh, secondly, we, we believe the country is more uh, divided than ever direct result of this Prime Minister's action. So we'd like to see uh, wording and action that unifies the country and that shows Western Canada that Liberals value them and value uh, the resources that, that, that they develop in, in, and that we develop, uh, including agriculture, which is a huge part of my riding. And, and then some fiscal responsibility. This government has done a terrible job of managing the finances of the country when times were good and we don't have much confidence in them in managing things when they're not good. So those are the three main, main areas that we're going to be looking at. All right, now I'll just ask you quickly about what Catherine McKenna said yesterday. In a tweet, she threatened that her government might regulate everything if companies don't do it themselves. Uh, and it was specifically in regards to digital commerce and digital free speech. What is the Conservative Party's thoughts on that? What would you say is your guys' response to Justin Trudeau's knee-jerk reaction to censor everything and uh, regulate well, everything. We, obviously, we, we don't like it. It's, it's concerning. Canadians are uh, worried about their freedom. They're worried about what kind of censorship the government, uh, Liberal government would have on them. I mean, it's no mistake Trudeau admires China's basic dictatorship for a reason. So we're concerned about it. But what we've seen them do is they sort of throw out these ideas, float them out, see what the response is. And so I, I think Canadians have to continue to be very vocal. Uh, don't just count on the media, uh, the mainstream media to cover this or to push back. Canadian, individual Canadians need to get involved politically and they need to let their local member of parliament, especially if their local member of parliament is a liberal, they need to let them know that they, what they think and how they disagree with that, uh, with that direction. Thanks so much for tuning into our coverage here at Rebel News. If you go to Help Rebel News, you'll be able to help us stay on the road, keeping this government to account. Justin Trudeau's grip on power has never been more tenuous, and the mainstream media has never abdicated their duty more than they have over the past few months. If you go to HelpRebelNews.com, you'll be able to help us stay on the road, covering the things that the mainstream media just won't.